Hey guys, Nick Everest here. Today we're going to go through how to make a wave painting like this one and next week we'll go through to how to add a sunset sky. I'm working on fibre today so don't forget to tape up the edges. Let's go through the materials I used and then let's get started. To start off our wave painting, um, I'm going to draw in a horizon line probably close to the middle. I've got my palette here with a bit of blue, black, white and yellow. I'm just going to mix up a nice green colour, so with a bit of blue and white, and a bit of the yellow. And I do want it quite a dark colour, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of that black in there to start. And I'm going to use this colour here to draw my horizon line. Now, to get a nice straight line, I'm going to use a ruler. Pop it nice and straight along there. So we'll probably still will tape up afterwards to make it nice and straight. And then I'm just going to draw it along there. So as long as you don't like your ruler getting a bit <laughs> um, wet, there we go. And then that's nice straight line to start with, which is perfect. And then to start, guys, I'm just basically going to colour all of this bottom area in this nice. Um, Color, and I'm going to get a bit lighter as we get closer to the foreground. Grab my smaller brush and mix up a bit of a lighter color um, of the same, just adding a little bit more white. And I've actually just um, put a little bit of water in through there to make it a li little bit easier to spread. Um, and I'm just going to add some details in through the back here um, to sort of look like there's some waves in back there. So basically all I'm doing is just a nice sort of curvy motion like this in through the back here. Now it is a little watered down. so. It isn't going to be that um, that strong a colour. It's really just to see, to sort of get that effect that the water back there in the ocean is sort of moving a little bit. And it's not stagnant. All right, so we're just going to add that in all the way down to where the wave's going to be. So just that, that movement and just making sure to leaving that dark, um, dark areas in between each lighter area so that it looks like the, um, the waves through there. So we're going to go a little bit lower all the way down to the wave. So I'm going to have, I'll just roughly sketch it out so you guys can see, I'm going to have a wave in through here. So this is all going to be um, the white water of the wave crashing and then up through here through the top of the wave and then there's going to be a couple little bit sections of whitewash of the wave. Okay so I've just mixed up um, a bit of that lighter colour again. And I'm going to add some more texture in um, under where I'm going to put this wave. So I'm just adding some um, just lines on a bit of an angle. And this is going to be just the movement of the water. So we're going to do heaps of layers of this. So don't, um, don't be too worried about what it looks like at the moment. Basically just little squiggly lines all down in through here and this is just trying to mimic the movement of the water up through here and it goes all the way up to the bottom of the wave and then over this side as well we'll do some And I'm 
just um, each time I'm just adding a little bit more water on my brush um, so the paint is nice and thin so it's spreading easy which means that it's going to fade into the background quite well too is just one of the first layers so we'll go over this many times to help keep create that depth yeah. perfect and then while I've got this nice light color um, this back sections dried a little bit more and I can see the waves that I've added but they've faded um, so I'm just gonna add another layer of the light on top of that now as well so each time you do this um, it's just really uh, adding nice depth to the to the painting um, so each, each layer that you add on top of adds more and more depth. And just that same curly motion. And obviously as we get further back in the sea, so further to the horizon line, the waves are going to appear smaller. So you can do nice big strokes up near where the wave's going to be. And then as you're getting back towards the background, you can just make them go nice and small. Just like that. Perfect. There we go. So in under here, um, where the wave so the water sort of rushing back in here and curling up and then creating this. So I'm just going to add a bit of a darker colour in there and I want it to be a little bit more green than this bluey colour that we've created. So I'm just mixing up um, some of the blue, some of the yellow. Blue. I'll put a little bit of white in there. I think I'm going to leave it for that and not add any black at the minute. We'll just see what that comes out like. And basically, I'm going to add in the shadow of the wave under here. Oh, so there's not that much contrast. So I actually, I might add a little bit of the black to make it just that little bit darker. Here we go. And see what that looks like. Yeah, there's a little bit more contrast here. So that's the, the shadow. And then I'm just... I could switch to my bigger brush, but I'm just gonna <laughs> keep using this little one and just color it in all under here where the dark wave is. Uh, sorry, where the wave is curling around where it's a bit darker because it's in shadow. Because if you can imagine the wave is curling over, so it's creating a bit of a shadow in there. And if you like, um, you can sort of uh, Sort of use some brush strokes in the in the motion of what the wave would be doing. So coming down like that. There. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna add some of this darker colour in amongst this lighter colour. Um, so just above and below where I've already done the lighter colour. So the lighter colour will be the tops of the moving water and the darker colour sort of um, the shadows on the bottom. Alright, I'll leave that there for now. Now, um, this bit which is going to be with the whitewash, um, the, when the wave curls over, it brings out a lighter green colour. So I'm just going to mix up some white and some of that yellow in there. And um, it does this because you've got the water rushing over the whitewash. And so that creates this light green colour. So I'm going to do it over. So just nice um, strokes, sort of a little, not directly down, but on a slight angle, if you can imagine like the water's going in a circle. I'm just doing the top right hand corner of a circle, if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> and I'm not doing it over the whole thing because I'm going to add my whites in there soon. I'm going to add just a little bit of that where I'm going to have um, 
some more white white wash over here. Perfect. Now, while I've still got this darker colour, I'm, I am going to get my bigger brush and add some more of that the texture in, in down in here. With the underlayer, I just went across the page. Now with these layers on the top, um, I really want to sort of go in the movement of where the water's moving. Um, so that with each layer, it's adding more depth to the water. Go. So I've got my small brush again. And I'm just going to go back through and continue to add those wave-like movements in through there. sort of a nice loopy line. And I'm gonna leave this this area in here quite not so textured and have sort of more of the water in through this top and closer to the wave. Keep adding little bits of the lighter colour in through here. So we'll start adding a few little bits going up the wave. Just like that. go back again um, again over this back section again and just with a little brush just adding so not as thick lines this time sort of just adding in highlights over the top let's go just making sure to go nice and small further back and then Nice bigger movements closer up. Awesome. And then if this is dry a little bit, it might be a little bit too wet. I'm going to add some highlights at the very tops. And that's just where you know, the sun is hitting or the light is hitting the most. Awesome, so what we might do, we've still got a fair bit of work to do down in here, but I'm gonna let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna add in the first layer of the whitewash. So I am just gonna use um, white. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of the green into it so that it can work as the shadows. And then I'm just gonna color all of this area in. So, oops, and that's a bit of the shadow coming in there, but that's okay, because that can, as we add the wider layers, that'll just act as shadow. So sort of just scribbling it on because just already start adding the texture. So I'm either just plotting it on or just scribbling all the way up to here. Comes up on a bit of an angle there. And then across the top, just adding a few little white dots all the way across until we get to the next little bit little triangle of the wave curling over there we go so that's the first layer of the whitewash 
perfect. Uh, as this, little, this bit dries, we're going to add in some more of the darker colour. So to get the darker colour, we're just going, I'm going to put some blue, black, green. And then a little bit of the white. There we go. To get that nice dark colour. And we're going to go back through. And underneath all the white, all the, well not all, but some of the white lighter sections, we're just going to add a nice solid line of that green. And again, you're just going in like a, a, a bendy line, I guess. Sort of like as if it's, you know, if you're looking at the ocean, it sort of curves. Sort of trying to follow that movement. And you don't have to go over un under every light section. And you can just add a few random ones in here and there. It's just trying to create that feeling of a bit of movement in the water. Now we're not going for a super realistic look with this painting, so um, you know, the, the, the brush strokes and things don't have to be super precise. It's more about just getting that feeling of movement. And this might be a little bit wet still. So it's blending in a little bit. So can you see the, the wave sort of is rushing in this way? Rushing in there. Out some of those longer lines. There we go. Coming in there, curling over. So in under here, um, it is it is dark because of the shadow, but it actually can get a bit lighter, sort of from the sun shooting in through the wave. So um, just right under here, I'm going to add a little bit of that lighter colour, just in through there. And I'm just sort of dry brushing this on actually. So getting a little bit of my uh, the paint on, wiping a bit off, and then just blending that in through there like that. Here we go. And making sure that dark color is coming through. Awesome. Cool. And if that whitewash is a bit drier, I'm just going to grab a just a pure white this time. My palette's getting a little bit muddy, but just a little bit of the pure white. I'm just going to start dotting in over the top. So it's okay to, you want to leave a little bit of the darker muddy white color because that will be the shadow of the whitewash or of the wave. And you just sort of Getting the white and just putting it on, and it can be on nice and thick. A bit of textures, nothing wrong with a bit of texture at this point. Dotting it on all the way across. Okay. Now, with this light green that I added before, I'm now going to do another layer of the light, and I've got some paint on my brush and then washed it off and I'm just going to keep going with those that um, sort of circle sort of movement, that half sort of circle movement. I'm just adding that in over the top just to make that a little bit lighter. And you don't want to put too much paint through this so I'm trying to be very, very light with my touch, sort of just where that wave is curling over. I think I want to make it a little bit more green. So I'm just going to add some yellow in there. 
very lightly going to go back over again. Yeah, that's a nice colour. Just that light sort of green colour. Awesome. So I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm noticing that it is quite dark. So um, I'm gonna go once again over this. So really it's just a, continuing to add layers until you're happy with the piece. So I'm gonna go mix up a nice light color. Um, so just adding a bit of white to the colors I've already made. And I'm gonna go back over again these lighter sections. So I've, I want the line to be quite smooth, so I'm adding a bit of water to my um, to my paint mix and to my brush to get that nice smooth line. Um, because it is watered down a bit, it is going to fade a bit. So if it fades too much, we'll just go over again. But I really want to lighten it all up in through here. Just still doing that same sort of semicircle loop. Uh, sorry, not semicircle. Um, like a loopy line movement, like a little bit of curve in the line. And we're just going to go all the way through here. So I'm sort of just going one curve and then another curve, and you can sort of cross the curve sometimes. have a few sections of where there's a lot of light and then there's a few sections where you're leaving a lot of the dark colour underneath. And then if the, if the paint's getting a bit hard to spread, just add a little bit more water to your brush. Just be mindful that the more water you add, the more um, wash down the colour is and then so the colour is not going to um, stay as much. So if you really wanted to keep that colour then that's when you need to use the, um, the different mediums that sort of thin out the acrylic paint. Um, I like to just use washes though because I feel like if, if, if it doesn't stick and be as light as you want then you can just add another layer and I really do think that each layer you add really helps to add that depth. See, that's just lightening up that painting now. I'm going to go all the way through. Just adding. And you can add some broken lines too. So, sort of starting here and then just letting your brush come on and off the canvas. sometimes doing a curve and then coming back and sort of spreading it out like that so it sort of looks like a like you're doing the top and the bottom of the wave. I don't know if that makes sense but <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Beautiful. Just gonna add a little bit of this colour in through here as well. So I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. Um, the only other thing that you can do is sort of add a few sort of dots and flecks in there as well. Like the, you know, when the waves sort of start to look like they're about to bubble. Just add a few randomly in through there. And if it's looking too liney, just join a few of the lines up get a bit more solid colour here and there if it's looking too much like they're just lines on lines but I think that's looking pretty good cool. so we're just going to go back over the whitewash now again and just 
adding those specks in through there. Now this time we're going to just add, so I'm just using my small brush and very lightly, we're going to add some specks um, with as the, the water's coming over, washing over, and then also just a, a few random, you can like sweep like that as if as the waves rushing and smashing it's causing you know back splash or back um uh, how do I describe it? like the the pressure and the strength of the water is causing that these um little bits of wave to break up and over like that and just all the way along you can add little and I'm just very lightly doing it so that you can sort of see all the little individual bits of the brush onto the canvas. So it's all sort of little tiny marks going on there. I'm just going to do that all the way along. Sharpen up some of these lines. I'm just going to go back through with this dark colour and just go um, underneath some of the lighter sections and just thin them out a little bit. So there's really mo multiple colours in through this um, bottom section. And you just keep adding layers until you know, of the light and the dark and the light and the dark until you're happy with it, until you think that it's got enough, enough depth and that it's looking good, or it's looking like how you're wanting it to look. And any areas where there's not much happening, even just adding a slightly different, like, um, different colour over the top can just add a little bit of depth to those areas. So. You're not, you don't want any sort of areas to be super flat. Awesome. Now, um, in the next video, I'm going to show how to do a nice um, sort of sunrise or sunset sky, but to start with, I'm going to just blur this um, horizon line a little bit so that it's not so sharp for when we do that. So I've just got a nice light colour and I'm just running my... So if you, if you wanted to leave the sky the timber colour, you wouldn't be doing this. I'm just going to leave it like that because I just don't want it to be as firm as it was. And it'll make sense as we do the next video. Um, and I'll show you how to do a nice horizon to go with your wave. So guys, that's the first half of this painting done. If you like, you can look at my previous videos about how to paint clouds, um, to add some clouds in here. Otherwise, see my next video on how to paint a sunset sky to finish off your piece. Thanks, see you next time. Let's go. And that is the school bell. <laughs> you can either leave the sky the plain wood panel or visit my previous physio. Or you can see my next physio. Oh, whoops. Added a big old bit of black. <laughs> That's an accident. That's where a shark is.